Hello there and welcome to this iOS filmmaking tutorial. Today I'm going to run through the basics of editing with iMovie on the iPad, although it works just as well on the iPhone. So let's go ahead and start by opening up the app by clicking on the icon. This opens up the project window. Now we don't have any existing projects, so let's go ahead and create one by clicking on this plus tab here. So this gives us the option of either creating a movie or a trailer. Now the trailers are really cool, but I'll go into those uh, in another film. For the moment, let's just go ahead and create a movie. So here we are in the media browser page. Uh, on the left hand side we have the various destinations where the media can be found uh, and then on the right hand side we have the actual media. So let's select three clips that we want to form the basis of our movie. So let's have clip one, clip two, clip three and then create movie. So here we are in the main edit screen. It's brought the, the the media browser open with it so let's just close that uh, and so we have our three clips we have our first clip which is Westminster Bridge and then that changes to a close-up of a double-decker bus going over the bridge and that's actually embedded in the clip it's the way I shot it uh, and then we go to a close-up of one of the pods on the London Eye and then we go to a wide shot of the London Eye itself. Now one of the first things that you can do is trim your clips. So by trimming, what we mean is you can, you can take out unwanted bits. So for instance, in this clip here of Westminster Bridge, you can see it starts off on the wide shot and then it goes to a close up and a double decker bus going over. So if we just want the wide shot and not the double decker bus, we can, we can trim the clip so that it just has the wide shot. So let's go and zoom in so we can see the, the, the clip in, in slightly more detail and have a bit better control over it. Uh, and, and what we'll do, we'll, we'll touch the clip itself. That highlights it. And you can see there's a, a yellow outline and thicker bars at either end. And these are the trim handles. So what we'll do, we'll grab the, the end handle and just slide it and you can see the clip is now playing in reverse and get it to the point where we don't have the double decker bus and there we are so now we just have the bridge in the wide shot on its own and there you can see that so this little icon here is the transition icon and a transition is essentially the way iMovie goes from one clip to another clip. So with a transition, or a dissolve as it's sometimes known, what happens is the outgoing media will continue to play as it slowly crosses over to the incoming media of the new clip. Uh, actually, we've got some of the, uh, the double-decker bus still there. So let's just trim that out. So come back a bit further so that we're well into the, uh, the, the clip of the bridge. So let's try that again. So as you can see, as we, as we scroll through, the clip dissolves to the close-up of the pod on the London Eye. But we can change the, the transition. And, and basically, iMovie, when you create the, the uh, project from the beginning, depending on the the theme that you're using, it will give you default transitions. And this particular theme, the, the default transition is a dissolve. But let's, let's imagine we want a straight cut. So to change it, we just click on the transition and that brings up our options. Uh, so let's, let's go for a none. So that's just a straight cut. So as you can see now, what happens is we cut from the bridge straight to the pod. So let's just play that and have a look at that, see what that looks like. So there we go, you can see that just is a straight cut. So let's just zoom out for a minute. And as you can see, with the, the, the timeline at the moment, we start with clip number one, a wide shot of the bridge. Then we cut to a close-up of the pod on the London Eye. 
and then we cut or we dissolve, sorry, to a wide shot of the London eye. But let's for one moment imagine that it kind of makes more sense if we want the the shot of the wide shot of the London eye to come before the close up of the pod. And we can do that by just clicking and holding on the clip that we want to move and dragging it to the position or to the new position that we want it. So now you can see we've got the bridge, we've got the wide shot, and we've got the close up of the pod. One of the other basic things that we want to do is probably add some more clips. So let's for, for a minute imagine that we want to add another clip on the very end of the film. So let's move the, the, the timeline and the playhead to where we want the new clip to be inserted. And then let's come up here to the right hand side, click on the plus arrow to get our media browser up uh, to, to, to find our new media. Go to video, recently added. And now we can scroll through and see which media clips we have. And let's for one moment imagine that we want to insert this clip of Waterloo Station. Uh, click the plus to add it. And now you can see it's added the clip to the end. And let's just play that just to show you. So we dissolve down and here we are in Waterloo Station in the new clip. Uh, that we've just inserted. So let's zoom out of there. And let's imagine this is roughly the film, or this is the film that we want to export. So let's click Done. And now click the little Export icon at the bottom. And as you can see, we have different options. We can save the video to our camera roll. We can save it to iTunes, the iCloud, uh, and various other options. We can post it immediately to Facebook, Vimeo, iCloud sharing, iMovie Theatre, YouTube, all kinds of destinations. But let's just for a moment save it to our camera roll. And it gives us the various resolutions that we can save it. And now I always save video as, as high as quality as possible. So let's go HD. And there we go. That's a very quick crash course in editing using the iMovie app for the iPad. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Please like and share and check out some of my other films.